Bonjour, mes amis. Hola. How you doing? Now, and konnichiwa. I did make up some um kind of word, but my daughter said it was too inappropriate because it just sounded weird. So, I'm just saying hi. Today, we are going to make some blackened catfish, okay? This is so easy. All you got to do, first thing, is get your little griddle pan. Put it on. Make sure it's hot. Okay, so I've got that heating up. I'm going to turn it down because it's hot. But you need a hot pan to do this recipe. Get your piece of catfish or white fish. Any kind of fish. But best with catfish. Or smokes. Oh, salmon's really good too. Blackened salmon is really good. I'm going to do a blackened salmon stuffed with, cur with Cajun next time. Alright, so all you want to do is get yourself a good reputable Cajun seasoning. They sell it all everywhere. When I first came to this country, that is the UK, you could not get Cajun season nowhere. Until I went on the television and people came down to see me and I started making up my own. I tried to do a deal with a company to put it on the shelves, but you know how it goes. Now, 10 years later, child, you be tripping <laughs> over over these Cajun seasoning, but I still got the best. So, you take your Cajun seasoning and you basically, you want to generously... Coat it, all right? Pat it on up in there. Turn your fish over. Another little layer. Give it a good pat. Now, oh yes, it's starting to smoke. My smoke alarm will probably go off in a second. So, I, oh my goodness. If it does, I'll have to run out and turn it off, but we see how we go. Pan is very hot. What I've done is I got myself a little paper towel. Mm -hmm. Get me some oil. Now that's oil from catfish that I did goujons earlier. And you just want to rub your pan. Okay? Just so that the fish doesn't stick. It probably will, but try and do this. Put it there. And then you want to take your catfish. And you want to gently lay it across. Okay? Turn your stove back up. Can now, I ask this a question? This cooks so quick. Yes. Could it be grilled? Yes, it could be grilled. We could do this outside on the barbecue. I tell you what, once I know that the sun is here to stay, I do live in the UK, so that ain't always guaranteed. And once I get some gas for my grill, or some charcoal for my old school. Your catfish is in the pan for that's probably only about three minutes or so. Gently, she says. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> Hold up. Flip it over, okay? You want to get it nice and crusty-like. Okay, that's all of your seasoning baking in. What would you serve that with? I would serve that with some sweet potato wedges, definitely with some pineapple salsa, of which I'm going to put it on the plate and put some salsa with it. That's if we got any left over, because I made some earlier. We had some catfish goujons, and I'll be honest with you, we've been eating it. Okay, so, get that nice and hot. That's nearly ready. Let me just get myself a plate. And also, this goes really good with some cornbread. Alright? Mm -hmm. Takes very, very, very little time to make this. Here we go. Let's see. Now, you could finish this off in the oven, or if you wanted to, you could do all of, coat all of your fish and put them on a um, tray and bake it in the oven. You would only need about 10 minutes in the oven. It is such a quick dish, but it's one of these ones that you can impress people with because you can say, oh yeah, child, I made me some black and catfish. And they go, did you go down the road to get that? No, I did it in my kitchen. So, let's see. I'm going to flip that back, blah, 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 blah. Oh, mercy. All right. But you can see how it is. It is just so mm, tender and smoky tasting. And this would be served... 
with a little bit of pineapple salsa. And this is how you do. You take a little bit of salsa. Take a little pinch. <clears throat> if I say so myself, that's good. That's real good. That's my lunch today. Blackened catfish. 